Brenton Jackson decided to put God first in his life. What can we learn from his story today that will help us put God first in our own lives? Brenton was born in New Zealand to a loving and caring Adventist family. He learned about Jesus and God's love for him. Everything was going well until he was 13 years old when his parents got divorced. Now, this experience was so shocking for Britain that he left the church and lived for many years without any connection to Christianity. Things started to change once again when he found himself jobless and on the edge of homelessness with nothing left but $200. How did this happen? He asked himself. At his lowest moment, Brenton remembered the love of God he experienced as a child. He remembered the sacrifice his parents made in putting God first with everything they earned. Realizing that they never lacked anything at home, he made a decision that changed his life. In trusting his future to God, Brenton trusted his last $200 to God, donating it to a local Adventist church. As with the widow in biblical times, Jesus certainly watched as Britain gave him everything he had. What happened next was that everything he needed was miraculously provided, and it continues to be provided today. Britain is now a fully devoted disciple who puts God first in everything, thankfully recognizing that everything he has comes from God. Ellen White reminds us that the Lord does not need our offerings, we cannot enrich him by our gifts. Says the psalmist, All things come of thee, and of thine own have we given thee. Yet God permits us to show our appreciation of his mercies by self-sacrificing efforts to extend the same to others. This is the only way in which it is possible for us to manifest our gratitude and love to God. He has provided no other. Brenton put God first throughout his adult life. His determination inspires us today. Jesus gave up everything to redeem us, and His love compels us to put His kingdom first in our own lives. As we return the tithe and our promise offering, we are challenged to put God first.